So I was on Sephora.com browsing the website just to see what all they got in that was new. And then this caught my eye and I was like, Giorgio Armani. I was like, ooh, I would never be able to afford Giorgio Armani. So guess what I did? I put it in my cart, I checked out and here we are. Hey guys, welcome back to another lipstick swatch video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. Today's video, we're gonna be swatching something a little more luxurious. It is the Armani Mini Lip Maestro Trio. I was like, ooh, mini sizes? I will never be able to afford the full size of Giorgio Armani. At least not yet, girl, I'm working on that, okay? But for now, this will work. So these are the mini travel sizes. $36 on Sephora.com or I think it was like four interest free payments of $9, but you ain't gotta tell nobody. And what we're gonna do is just find out a little bit more about these lipsticks. I've never swatched these before, at least not that I could remember. Okay, so what these are is the lip, and I'm just on the app for Sephora, the Lip Maestro Liquid Lipstick features an award-winning formula that infuses lips with intense, long-lasting color and comfort. This matte liquid lipstick has a non-drying, non-sticky, creamy texture that makes the lips look instantly fuller while delivering long-wearing high pigment color and a velvet matte finish for up to eight hours, darling. This versatile lipstick set offers universally fluttering lip colors in nude, red, and pink for any occasion, okay? So I am excited to get into these because the way these are described, they sound really good. And El Boxe, darling, is very luxurious as well. They definitely put some thought into this because the quality of the packaging is very well designed and it feels really good. So, how this opens is like this. You slide it off and then you have a boxy luxurie and you're gonna hear my dogs barking in the background there, so just a heads up for you. And this is what we got. So like it said, there's nude, red, and pink. I'm gonna leave the red for last, just in case there are some staining of the lips that happen throughout the process. So I will start with nude, then pink, and then we're gonna leave the red shade for last. So. I guess these are the shades here. N degree 101, that's the first shade here. I hope that's how you say it. All right, and this is what it is. Okay, so this is the first shade 101. I am not like blown away by the color, but it's very doable for a regular day just to throw something on. But I'm not like wowed by this color, that's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't have any scent and it feels very creamy, moussey on the lips. It's not quite dry as yet and I don't know how long it's going to take for it to dry, but it still feels very wet. I feel like this is a color that I could just wear with a chocolate lip liner and just take it to another level. It's a nice nude, not my perfect nude, but it's a very doable nude. I'd like to get you guys' vote on this color, so let me know in the comments below.
By the way, all I've used for these so far is one application. There's no need to dip it back in the tube because the doe foot applicator just holds enough product to cover both your lips. So that's pretty nice that I don't have to go back in the tube. And the color is still very pronounced even with just one application. So it's a one and done and you don't have to worry about anything else. But what do you guys think of this color? It looks a little bit lighter from the tube, but when it swatches on me, it's a little bit more rosy than pink, which I don't mind because I think it does complement me very nicely. What do you guys think about this color? Let me know in the comments. So we're down to the last red shade N400. This red is everything. What a gorgeous color, darling. Giorgio Armani. Hmm. I could get used to this color. It encompasses everything womanly and more. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be wearing this for the rest of the day. It did say in the description that they should last for at least eight hours. So I'll be testing it for that time period and then we'll see how these perform. I do have very high hopes for these lipsticks. I mean, they are Giorgio Armani, darling. So they need to stand behind that brand and I expect nothing less. The one thing I am noticing is that they are taking a little bit of time to dry. So I've had this on for like a couple minutes or so and it's still not, you know, completely dry. I want to give a transfer test using my handy dandy Yeti mug. And that's what I am talking about. It's still very wet. It's not even like semi wet. So I want to see how long this will take to completely dry. So a quick time check here, it's 2.36 p.m. It did say in the description that these lipsticks should last for about eight hours. So around 10 p.m.-ish, I'll be back with the review of these lipsticks. So I will catch you guys later. Hey guys, so it's like a couple hours in since I've had the lipstick on. And this is what it's looking like now. Oh my gosh, I'm outside and it's so cold and frosty but I like the results so far it's still very much pigmented and um, you know what I think this is more of I don't think it's gonna get completely dry because it did say that it was a velvet matte finish so it's very moisturizing though and um, my lips feel so hydrated right now. I'm definitely excited to see what's, what it's going to look like <laughs> uh, seven to eight hours from now. So yeah, my dogs are out here barking because they want to play ball, but I am not about to play ball. It's freezing outside. Cheerio. I am not playing ball. It's too cold. Mia, put the ball down. Yeah. Um, no. So I am gonna go back inside and get warm because yeah, it's it's freezing. So I'll check back in with you guys uh, at the end of the night. Hey guys, so I am back with a final review of the Armani Lip Maestro lipsticks. So this is the shade 400, the red lipstick. And as you can see clearly that this did last for a very long time. Let's go ahead and do our time check. It is exactly 9 p.m. 
Initially, I wanted to go until 10, but I'm getting too tired. But it's the same difference. This will certainly last for probably another four or five hours because this stain is incredible. Um, so I want to go through and see if they lived up to the claims that they had on the description. It says that this matte lipstick has a non-drying, non-sticky, creamy texture. That is absolutely true. This lipstick leans more towards a hydrating lipstick. And for that reason, this lipstick still transfers. So I thought it was going to dry the longer I wore it, but that was not the case. It still transfers up to now. There. So it will transfer, we cannot help that it's a moisturizing lipstick, but the pigmentation still lasts. As you can see, the color did not fade whatsoever and we are already seven hours in to wearing this lipstick. I am super impressed with the quality of this lipstick, which of course I was expecting. It also says that it makes the lips look instantly fuller while delivering long wearing high pigment color and a velvet matte finish for up to eight hours. So initially, when I first put the lipstick on, it did have like a glossy finish to it, which made my lips look more full. But as you wear it, that shine starts to disappear. And so it doesn't look as full as when I had first applied the lipstick. So that shine will fade over time. With that said, I highly recommend these lipsticks. They will make a great gift. The quality is superb. Like, I always say the proof is in the pudding. I just proved it to you guys. I cannot make this up. These lipsticks are amazing and you should definitely try them out for yourself or gift them to a friend, a family, or a loved one. But that's all I got for tonight. If you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and leave me a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue to see more swatch videos like this from me. I really do enjoy creating content like this for you guys and it does help my channel when you subscribe and it motivates me to continue to provide great content. Thank you guys so much and I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video. Bye!